awesome. Hey guys, Noons here, Airborne RC. Thanks for coming back. Uh, today we went ahead and we flew the Husky. I did fly it last Thursday. I did made in it. Um, I forgot my hat clip, so I wasn't able to record it. Sorry about that. So I set up the day um, just going and setting up my AS3X because I got that new AR637 Tango receiver. Um, if you guys don't know, go ahead and uh, look up Air Marshal RC. Uh, he has a nice nine-part series on how to set that thing up. If you're not familiar with flying or what gains or what does what, he gets in the nitty-gritty of that, guys. Uh, Dave, great job on that, by the way. Um, I set it up. It took me three batteries. <coughs> And uh, she flies pretty sweet, guys. I am using uh, 4S 2200s because I had them laying around from my um, F16 and F15 uh, 64mm EDF. And with those batteries, guys, the CG's right at about 87, um, which is on the back end of it. And it seems a little tail heavy, so I'm going to experiment putting in some weights in there. I have the batteries slammed all the way forward. But other than that, guys, things a solid flyer, flies great. Um, a few things uh, for heads up on it, okay, guys. Um, it, if you come in with uh, full flaps, full flap deflection, I've noticed that you, uh, it washes out a lot of your prop. And you lose a lot of your rudder authority. And when you come in that slow, especially on pavement, it'll do this little spin. And if you guys have this plane, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've done it in dirt. It doesn't do it because it's not as easy and forgiving as the concrete. The dirt kind of catches the plane. It does like a little, little hop and that's about it. But on the concrete, it does do a spin. And you'll see in the video, I take off and uh, I do a loop. I go ahead and I fly the plane a little bit and I just start attempting landings. Because one thing I found is with full flaps, she just floats forever. And I'm eating up all the runway. And I'm dead sticking that thing. I can't get it to come down. One thing I did notice is if you use takeoff flaps for the landing, she comes nice and sweet, and I land her perfect almost every time, and I have full rudder authority, as you'll see in the video. That's something you guys might want to take into account. Another thing I did, a little tip, is I took 1.5 millimeter carbon rods, and I glued them on the wingtips on the trailing edge and on the horizontal stabilizer. Because if you don't catch it, it will tilt. Uh, if you have a carbon cub, you'll know what I'm talking about. It'll just chew up your wing, and I don't like that. And uh, I'll show you what I did in these pictures right here. And you can see, it did, I've tipped it maybe eight times, and the wear and tear is minimal. All right, guys. Well, those are pretty much the tips and tricks I got for you. Forest 2200, I believe, is a little tail heavy. Um, I know it could take a lot bigger batteries, guys. It's got a big wing. Forest 4000s would probably be um, right about in there, maybe a little nose heavy. Right now, I have the 2200 slammed all the way to the front. Um, a 3000 3300, I think, would be the sweet spot for that, guys. Uh, but like I said, I used what I had, and um, that's it. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Noon's out. Take off flap. Landing flap. Take off flap. Flap up. Time to stop. Time to stop.
Takeoff flap. Landing flap. Time remaining four minutes. Set it up for an approach, guys. I'll show you what I mean about the spin out. Timer stop. Timer start. Time remaining three minutes. Mm. Timer stop. Timer start. Time remaining two minutes. Dear God. Time a start. Just wants to float. All right, let's try take off flaps. Take off flap. Timer stop. Timer stop. Time timer stop. Timer stop. Total cut.